Hi guys, Mrs. Russell here. I am going to show you a interactive map that will help you review for your quarter one quiz. And this map also is going to include a timeline of history from 200,000 years ago when we first see modern humans evolving in Africa to today. So if you look up at the top, it explains what each little dot is going to mean. So the yellow is archeological sites, which is physical evidence of modern humans. Um, the orange dot is climate conditions, which is the geologic evidence of past climates. And then the red dot is the DNA evidence of past interactions. Okay, so I'm not going to go through every single one of these with you right now because I am going to post this in Google Classroom and I would like all of you to go back and watch it maybe once or twice. Um, and then also I'm going to post a link to the map so you can navigate the map yourself. All right, so starting in east africa we see the earliest humans so if we touch if we click on it it will pop up pictures for you to explore so you can post look click on each picture and go through the post for each picture um, they all have different good information and as you do this as you click on these dots it slowly moves you down the timeline um, so click on the dots and read the information and it will tell you about the different challenges and obstacles that were faced by modern humans, um, early modern humans, and about how they ended up leaving Africa. So there was a first wave out of Africa. Um, in about 12, 120,000 years ago, there was a short window of weather that allowed um, people to move out of Africa because there was enough vegetation and good climate for people to move out. However, um, after living here for thousands of years, a devastating drought made it impossible for humans to survive outside of Africa. It was just too dry. So they were kind of forced back in Africa during that time. Um, DNA evidence indicated our species was on the brink of extinction around then because of this catastrophic drought here. It caused us to um, shrink down to as few as 10,000 mating pairs or 20,000 people. Um, which is a very small number of population of humans, probably the smallest in our history, except for the very beginning. And so that was happening. But then climate improved. Small numbers of surviving humans were able to reunite, multiply, and start migrating again out of Africa using this land bridge that was helping connect the southern route. So as they go, they start making encounters with other types of um, species, including Neanderthal. And, which are like humans, descended from a common ancestor, but different as well. Um, then we see dramatic warming in the northern regions, which allowed our people to move up towards Europe and even up into northern Europe, and also down here into Southeast Asia, eventually Australia, up towards Siberia in Russia, and eventually they start moving across the Arctic, um, in the Siberia area, into over the Bering Strait area, into what is now Alaska, Canada, and North America. Okay, and eventually they move all the way down into South America, where around this time is when we see the rise of agriculture and farming. So people kind of started to stay where they were settled, right? This is like the early pattern of where our ancestors were meant to be and stay and settle. So agriculture allows our species to support large populations and all of a sudden these small populations of humans started booming and that brings us where we are today. Okay, you are here actually, you are right there in Hawaii. Okay, have a lovely day guys. Make sure you go over this. Um, on your own, you can watch a video with me explaining some how to use it and just check out the interactive map to help you study for your quiz. Take care.